in this session let us analyze how we analyze like you know synchronous machine first let us decide direction of induced voltage in the sense direction of rotation okay as a generated motor and then 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 let me consider direction of current as a reference first let me take direction of voltage as the reference and then let me take direction of current as also as a reference such that means we will be able to unify the procedures for example let us think of generator I fix the generator okay let us think of this is n pole this is s pole okay now this is going to be the rotor rotor and in this let me have many conductors And let me have brushes here okay brushes should be kept at MNA only already we know if we keep the brushes at MNA automatically voltage tapped across the brushes will be maximum and that too when flux density waveform is flat top automatically induced voltage more induced voltage can be tapped across the brushes okay now for example let us think of generator in the sense in generator what is the input we have to rotate the generator okay so for example I am rotating the generator in this direction okay if I rotate the generator in this direction let us think of direction of induced voltages means direction of induced voltages right hand okay so basic concepts of rotating machines we have seen so n to s flux is in this direction and direction of rotation is in this direction here in this conductor direction of rotation of conductor is in this direction so induced voltages are going to be dots here Induced voltages here will be causes. Okay, so this is going to be the <coughs> direction of induced voltages. Now, one thing I have to tell you here: my induced voltage is going to be maximum here. Induced voltage is going to be very less here. In, if I have one conductor here at, at the brushes, induced voltage will be zero because magnitude of induced voltage directly proportional to flux density and what is the flux density waveform for us in dc machine is going to be flat topped so induced voltages are going to be in a conductor is going to be flat topped okay now let us for example if i connect one resistor here if i connect one resistor here okay definitely in the resistor currents has to flow or not yes so in generator direction of induced voltage and direction of currents will be same so currents are going to be cross 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 here currents are going to be dots now the moment currents come into picture automatically MMF should come automatically rotor pole should be formed for example rotor poles are going to be see here rotor poles current and flux direction right hand thumb rule cross dot cross dot my currents are going to be entering into the board coming out of the board so cross dot so poles for formation is going to be this is going to be n pole of the rotor this is going to be s pole of the rotor now in which direction torque is being developed yes n will be attracted n s will be attracted so torque developed will be in this direction okay so point here is my speed direction of rotation and torque should be in opposite direction or not yes yes okay because it's a generator in generator compulsory back torque should be there back torque is coming so it will be able to absorb electrical power sorry mechanical power and it will be able to deliver electrical form of power okay so this is the concept now let us think of already we have seen these portions are connected in series and these portions are connected in series and this and this are connected in parallel we have seen previously we need not go to winding diagram and all because winding diagram cannot come in exam no okay so in winding diagram maximum they can ask how many commutator segments will be there so those things we are going to do it okay beyond that like you know we need not know what is meant by like you know uh, commutator pitch okay and pole pitch and all those things are not required because that's going to be very basic level in diploma i studied that okay not even in engineering okay anyway all these conductors are in series all these conductors are in series and these two will be connected in parallel and it should be closed it should be closed why it should be closed in order to utilize volume of copper 
okay so my volume of copper will be designed by the designer that volume of copper in order to utilize fully i should not have open circuit so our armature for example this is the armature okay so i can assume that my windings are connected like this in series like this okay and here if i keep the brushes here if i keep the brushes here okay so from here to here from here to here these are all connected in series from here to here these are all connected in series both are connected in parallel and it is going to be closed winding okay now see here for example if i have pole here and if i have pole here pole here okay for example as usual let me take off yes here let me take off n here means we have to understand this properly dear focus see here induced voltage at the center of the pole is going to be maximum of course from here to here it's going to be flat top induced voltage from here my induced voltage is going to be radio so at the center of the pole at the center of the pole induced voltage is going to be maximum beyond the center of the pole induced voltage will be reduced as yes, per the flat top nature of the flux density but but because one of the important interview question is like you know in dc machine in dc machine before commutator currents are going to be ac okay that ac will be <coughs> that ac will be converted into dc or dc will be converted into ac by commutator so inside the armature currents flowing are going to be ac so the moment currents are ac and like you know it may be whatever will be the winding it is number of turns are going to be very high and you are keeping the this particular rotor is made up of iron electro sorry iron in the sense magnetic material relative permeability is high so inductance directly proportional to number of turns per number of turns are more inductance directly proportional to relative permeability relative permeability is more okay very high and also inductance coming to picture when ac currents are flowing ac currents are flowing so important interview question here is why armature like you know inductance is not considered in dc machine okay for that you please see here for example from here to here all these are connected in series from here to here all these are connected in series for example for example my current coming out of this is 10 amperes okay so this has to give 5 amperes this has to give 5 amperes okay so 5 plus 5 is going to be 10 okay for example you are sitting on this conductor and it is being rotated in this direction okay so you are sitting on this conductor how much is the current 5 amperes for example in this direction let me consider 5 amperes so you are sitting here 5 amperes plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 because it is rotating no so after some time it will occupy this position after some time it will occupy this position so plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 2 from here to here minus 5 minus 5 because all are connected in series no same current minus 5 minus 5 minus 5 minus 5 minus 5 2 plus 5 okay so basically speaking what is the current uh, like you know waveform for example if you think of here it's going to be tripodic i can say same current same current same current same current and the current direction will be reversed again same current same current same current same current again current direction is going to be reversed okay so i can say that from here to here same current will flow and from here to here same current will flow so when current is going to be interchanged from plus 5 to minus 5 or minus 5 to plus 5 he is going to be during commutating zone only during commutating zone only or during means the moment it is crossing the brush at that time only current reversal will happen okay so this is called as commutating zone okay so except commutating zone do we need to do we need to consider the ac quantities no because current flowing in a conductor for example let me think of this is the current flowing in a conductor conductor current flowing in a conductor is going to be constant tripodic and after that to cross the commutating zone it will take some time or not yes okay so to cross the commutating zone it will take some time during that time current will go from plus ic to minus ic okay again during commutating time it will go from here to here okay so what is commutating time from plus ic to minus ic is going to be commutating time okay so see here from plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 to minus 5 <coughs> plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 to minus 5 after minus 5, minus 5, minus 5, minus 5, 2 plus 5. So, except the commutating zone, do we need to analyze? Do we need to analyze inductance of armature? No. 
okay so let us map this into a circuit like you know okay so in this for example plus ic current is flowing conductor current here also plus ic current is flowing such that these two are connected and here armature current is going to be ia after brush okay so ia is entering this has been split into ic and ic so this ic same current ic 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 will flow and let me join these two and let me take out ia okay so then what is happening here let me consider one brush here here let me consider one brush here okay so what is happening see here means after the brush once you enter into armature my current has been split into two two parallel paths and net current is again coming back okay see here here also the same thing is happening means for example current is coming out of here from plus five minus five total current is going to be 10 and the 10 will come back will come back will come back through the load and again it will be split in okay so all these are connected in series and all these are connected in series or not yes so all these are connected in series and all these are connected in series or not yes now let us try to find armature mmf okay so this is going to be mmf okay and this is going to be theta now what is armature mmf or mmf is nothing but current enclosed okay so the moment current is enclosed like you know, if current enclosure is becoming more <coughs> current enclosure is becoming more by increasing number of turns mmf is going to be increased or not yes so for example see here means what is the armature mmf is going to be only ic and if i have one more turn two ic if i have one more turn this is going to be complete like you know three ic if i have one more turn included in the closure part four ic in this if i add one more it is going to be five ic in this it is going to be 6ic the closure bar now if i add this it is going to be reduced to 5ic if i add this it is going to be reduced to 5ic 4ic it is going to be 2ic is going to be zero is going to be zero so my armature mmf if you see my armature mmf will continuously increase like this and after that it will reduce okay so this is going to be armature mmf or not yes now armature mmf maximum armature mmf maximum will be aligned with the brush axis okay armature mmf will be aligned with the brush axis with the brush axis now what will happen like you know armature conductor current is trapezoid conductor current is trapezoid and armature mmf is going to be triangular and uh, induced voltage in a conductor is going to be flat topped induced voltage in a conductor or flux density is going to be flat topped okay so these are the waveforms okay simple thing what is that my induced voltage is flat topped because flux density is flat top why induced voltage of flux density should be flat topped in dc machine in order to tap more voltage across the brushes okay why we have to keep the brushes at mna in order to tap more voltage across the brushes in our previous sessions we have seen and here means why conductor current is going to be trapezoid because from here to here all these are in series okay so here induced voltage will be less here induced voltage will be more here induced voltage is maximum here induced voltage is less but all these are connected in series means that same current has to flow so my conductor current same and this is going to be commutating zone like you know it is entering into brush axis and again crossing the brush axis current will be reversed so my conductor current is going to be trapezoid now if i have such conductor currents like you know depending upon the armature mmf mmf is nothing but current enclosed so my armature mmf is going to be triangular aligned with brush axis now let us try to calculate this equation is very important and we need not remember we need not remember let me calculate armature mmf per pole okay armature mmf per pole what is the pole area see here pole area is this this is one pole area and this is another pole area so this is going to be one pole area okay in pole area what is mmf current multiplied by number of turns 
okay ni so current what is current ic okay conductor current what is conductor current ia by a if i if i consider a as number of parallel paths okay so ia by 2 is ic ia by 2 is ic so means my current is going to be ia by a armature current divided by parallel path will give you conductor current current is over and after that number of turns total number of conductors total number of conductors in an armature by 2 will give you number of times per pole per pole okay so ia by a into z by 2 into 1 by p is going to be armature mmf per pole okay now if you want to consider for of course maybe they can ask this question or they may not ask like you know for example if it is triangular if it is triangular if i convert this into sinusoid fundamental okay if i give it to fourier fourier will divide it into sinusoid components are not yes so once of course normally we don't give it to fourier normally we don't give it to fourier but anyway by fourier series what is fundamental peak fundamental peak fundamental peak should be far per pole fundamental peak maximum is going to be 8 by pi square of far ia by a z by 2 per pole okay depending upon this we are going to solve problems in the next session